Hello, hello, hello! Welcome to Teen Energetic Games. My name is Natalie, and today we are going to be playing some Final Fantasy VIII, the remastered version. And... <laughs> Thank you so much for the hype. I appreciate that. Um, so, so last time we played, we had a we had a bit of a shared dream with our party members, and we were three other people who were like heroes and Laguna and Ward I think was his name um, and they are um, Gardenia soldiers I know that's not what they're called <laughs> they're, ga they're Gardenias um, <laughs> I've forgotten what they're called um, but yes, they are they are technically our enemies because technically we're mercenaries and technically technically we don't appear to have any like country ties. I feel like I feel like we we're just in a, a a school for mercenaries, which is odd. But I'm not going to question it any more than I already have. Um, but yes, it turns out there's several of these gardens all over the country and they, they're just mercenary schools from what I gather. But anyway, Laguna, he, 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 he wants a girlfriend and, uh, Squall, or in our case, Brett, finds him incredibly unimpressive. Um... So yeah, that's what he's up against. I'm going to turn the volume up a bit so you guys can hear a little bit more. Tell me if the game is too loud. Um, I will be interested to know that. Um, but, but yes, I am seriously invested in that relationship and I want to know what happens next. So I can only hope that we see more of them soon. Um, Okay, but I'm gonna I'm gonna launch the game. Everything's too loud, but then again, I'm off. Yeah. Speaking of things that are too loud, my game <laughs> on my end. You guys probably have reasonable volume, but I have accidentally absolutely deafening. Um, because I remember ages ago I was saying that the equalizer was on, but apparently when we went to change it, it was off. So now everything's just absurdly loud for no apparent reason, and I can't figure out why. Um, so, so, like, I'm literally as low as it gets before it just mutes itself. Just like, you know what? You, you apparently you just don't want any noise. You just you just can't have any noise. Screw you guys. I'm going home. Um. Hang on. Okay, here we go. Sorry, I need to wake up my controller again. Just had to push the space bar and I'm like, uh Um But yes. We were on a job. We've been hired to help some rebels defeat the gardenias. Oh good, we're working. Um I literally cannot for the life of me remember what the enemy is called right now. I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, oh yes, we're at Timber. And the forest owls are who we are working for. Um, and we've met the princess who, you know, is a little too, uh, you know, touchy-feely for my liking. This is Zell. And selfie. Oh, no need to sound any more impressed than you already do. Jump Mama. I forgot we called her Jump Mama. Oh boy. Hi everyone. This way, I can't believe I committed to this. I'm so sorry. Although to be honest, I'm 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 glad it's Joe Mama because I I'm, I'm never really sure how to pronounce her name, I'll be honest. So, there is that benefit. Just stand anywhere you want. 
This is a full-scale operation. Our resistance, the Forest Owls, will be forever known in the pages of Timber's, in Timber's Independence. Exciting, huh? Thank you, Zone. It all started when we got hold of a top secret... Galbadia! Laguna! Kiros and Ward are Galbanian soldiers. Top secret info from Galbadia. I got the info, sir! There's a VIP from Gal Galbadia coming to Timber. Super VIP! The guy's name is Vinza Dilling. Our arch enemy and the president of Galbadia. Vinzer Delling is a scoundrel. He's a dictator, not a president. Not even popular in Galbadia, sir. President Delling is taking a private train from Galbadian, from the Galbadian capital. Our plan is to blow it to smithereens with a rocket launcher. Uh, not quite. So get to the point, just tell us what to do! Shall we begin? Thank you, Joe Mama. First, I'll go over with- I'll go over the model. The yellow train on the top is our base. We're riding on it right now. Right next to it is the dummy car. We made it to look like the president's car. But why is the other train all green? That doesn't make any sense. Their train has three cars. First, there's the locomotive, followed by the first car. The red car is the president's car. Delling should be inside. The last car is the second escort. Once we get on this one, we can begin the operation. Our ultimate goal is to seize the president in his car using our base. That means we'll have to switch our dummy car with their president's car. We'll use the two switch points leading up to Timber to carry out this operation. Okay, now I'll, now I'll explain the procedures in seven steps. One, sneak on board the second escort. We'll get on the roof of the second escort by jumping from our dummy car. The second escort can only be... The second escort car is the only one that is equipped with sensors, sir. A high-tech officer is on board. I'll talk about the sensors later. Oh, hurt me. You can tell that, like, oh, thank you for the lurk. For you must sleep, that is fair. Sleep good when you go. Snooze well, my friend. Oh, but you, you, you can honestly tell that in secret missions like this one, just they just are so exciting. It's okay, I've got tea, we're good. Proceed across the roof of the president's car. We can move across the roof of the president's car without worrying too much. Delling hates the company of his guards and being surrounded by sensors, and keeps them away from his car. Oh, that's convenient. Four, uncouple the first car. We'll have to complete the uncoupling before the first car's first switch point. If we don't, boom, game over, right? Yeah. So we'll have to move fast. I'll explain the uncoupling process later. Five, the dummy car and our base move in after uncoupling. After the car is uncoupled, we'll have the dummy car and our base move in. At this point, our train and their train will be linked and be moving together. Six, uncouple the second escort car. 
So the dummy card will be attached. Okay. This is the last uncoupling. The process will probably be similar to the first one. Escape with the president car and our base. If all goes well, we should be able to escape with the president's car. Sorry, excuse me, I've got hiccups. Yeah, Joe Mama, it's a whole thing. It's just an excuse to make Yo Mama jokes. After that, we'll have to think of some. I'm not very good at them, I'll be honest. After that, we'll return to the to our base and prepare to confront Delhi. <sighs> Step one, get to the escort car. Step two, proceed across the second escort. Step three, proceed across the president's car. Step four, uncouple the first escort car. Step five, the dummy car and our base move in. Six, uncouple the second escort car. Escape with the president's car. Step seven. We'll have exactly five minutes to complete the seven procedures. If we fail, our train will collide with theirs at the switch point and we'll, it'll be over. Don't forget that. Five minutes? You sure that's enough? According to the simulation that we ran, it should take only three minutes to complete the operation. Piece of cake for seeds, right? Of course! Too easy, she says, never having done this before. Okay, now let's talk about how to avoid the sensors on the second escort. Go ahead, Watts. The guards have a sound sensor and a temperature sensor, sir. Any sound will trigger the sound sensor, so move across very quietly, sir. The blue guard is carrying the sensor. The temperature sensor will go off if you remain stationary, sir. The guard in red is carrying this one, sir. When the guard opens the blind, it means he is checking the sensor, so be careful. The range on these sensors is equal to the length of the window. Of, oh, of one window. So keep an eye on the window below, sir. So exactly how do you avoid them? Stop if there is a blue guard below you. Run if there is a red guard below you. Um, basically, run or stop depending on which guard is below you. That's about it for the sensors. Next, let's talk, let's talk about how to uncouple the escort cars. Question! How can you uncouple the cars from a moving train? Um, we can't uncouple the cars directly. Instead, we'll have to tamper with the control system that manages the coupling. If we temporarily disable the circuit for the connection, the car will uncouple automatically. To disable it, we have to enter several codes. And we have the codes. Your mama has them, sir. I'll be in charge of relaying the codes to Brett. Brett, you'll slide down on the side of the train using a cable and enter the codes into the system. Now I need you to listen carefully. Oh my god, I gotta write something down, probably. Should almost definitely be doing that. Each code is made up of numbers between one and four and has four digits. Two, three, four, one is an example. Okay, just just making shapes and putting the numbers there. Okay. But the keyboard won't have numbers. Instead, you'll have four buttons. For instance, if I relay the code 3124, you'll push square, circle, X, and triangle in that order. You'll have to be quick and, pre and precise. You'll have about five seconds to enter each code. Otherwise, the code will change and the past entries will become invalid. 
So like we said, we have to enter all the codes to disable the connections. After we uncouple the cars, we'll wait for the others. Hang on. <laughs> I think it was red go and blue stop. And not the other way around. So that's 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 that that's that's written down. <laughs> After we uncouple the cars, we'll wait for the others to operate the rail switch. Remember, we only have five minutes to do everything, so make sure that you're prepared. Okay, let's try practicing entering the code. Enter three codes and you'll be finished. If you want to quit, hold down L1. The code is... oh my god. <laughs> One, two, two, two. Okay, cool. Uh, three, two, three, three. Is that it? Okay. Oh my god. One, two, something. Oh, jeez. One, two, four, three. One, two, four, three. Eh? That was right, though. Three, four... One, two. Cool. In the real thing, there is a strict time limit leading up to the switch point. Don't forget that. Um, that's all. By the way, this model's nice, but the president's car looks kind of shabby. Why is that? Yeah, your mama made it. That's why. <laughs> we bought everything else at the gift store. <laughs> Oh, I thought some kid made it. The paint job sucks, too. Bit rude. Yeah, it kind of does. <laughs> oh, shut up. I made it to look like that on purpose. It represents my hatred towards Delling. Hatred, eh? Yeah, right. It's one of the ugliest things that I've ever seen in my life. You must really hate him. Are you guys finished? Enough about the model. Can we get on with it now? I'm petrified about these codes. Yes. Let's decide on the party. Gathering information, sir, is my specialty, sir. Ouch, my stomach. The nerves are finally getting to him. We're moving again. I'll go take a look. Talk to Watts when you're ready. The sooner the better. Have you seen the dummy of the president, sir? If you haven't, please take a look-see. It's like a piece of art. I know the kidnapping plan must be tough, but best of luck to you, sir. Uh, not yet. I don't want to have that entire talk again, so I'm going to go save. <laughs> and then I'll be back. Always save after an important talk, so you never have to live through it again. Even if you think you may want the information later. Uh, kidnapping, yeah. We'll catch up with the second escort soon. Let's get ready. We should time our jumps well, so after we catch up to them. What? We should time our jumps well after we catch up to them. Save time. From now we have exactly five minutes to complete the op operation. Let's try to use every second. It's to 
defective. Maybe it's broken? But the Sarge made it. Impossible! If I tell him... Activation confirmed. Activation. Oh dear. Okay. Good. This is the president's car. After we get across, we'll proceed to the first uncoupling. Oh boy. Sir, everything is in order, sir. You again. That's 27 times now. How many more times do you plan to disturb me with your me with that meaningless report? Sir, I'm sorry, sir, but it's my duty, sir. It's hard to believe that anyone would put up with this nonsense. I guess it's none of my business. Dismissed. Sir, yes, sir. Here goes next month's paycheck. Oh my god, you just don't get paid because you pissed off the president 27 times in a row? How am I gonna propose to her now? Am I gonna have to put it off again? Oh my god, is it Laguna? <laughs> This is the first escort. We're gonna uncouple this first. Like what said, there should be two guards in on this car. Selfie and Zell, you guys keep an eye on the guards. Let us know early if you see them coming. All right, I'll watch the blue guard. I'll take red. The red guard is closer. Fred, you might want to keep an eye on him too. Hold down L1 to look to your left and release to go back. Okay, are you ready to enter the codes? Absolutely not. Four, three, two, one. Okay. We'll have to enter the codes to disable the circuit for this uncoupling. Okay, Fred, get the cable ready. The system to enter the code is down there. You can't miss it. Press down to go down. To come back up, press up. You won't be able to come up while you're entering the code, so be careful. Let's do it. Press down to enter the codes. You have four minutes left. Good luck, Brett. Uh, one, three, four, one. Okay, cool. Four, two, three, shoot. Oh my god. Uh, one, two, shoot. What am I doing? Uh, four, two, three, one. Okay, we'll just wait up here, I guess. I, I don't know. Three, four, three, four. Brett, this way. Okay. Trains be like that. Okay, that's the dummy car in our base. What should I do? I know he's not gonna like it, but it's my job. Sir, everything is in order, sir. Huh. He's not angry. Phew, that's strange. Oh, he's reading the paper. I wonder where he got it. 
What? Is there a problem? Bad mood right now. <laughs> the league president. I'm in a bad mood right now. If there is nothing in particular, I order you to leave immediately. Sir, I, I, sir, yes, sir. You don't just stand there. Get back to your station. Y yes, sir, yes, sir. There goes another paycheck. Two in one day. What the heck? Is this the right train? The interior looks different. Looks shabbier. Maybe not. What am I gonna do? No ring and now no more candlelight dinner. I'm never gonna be able to get married. My boy. Tell me President Einstein retire him in. This is the second escort. After this, we're home free. I think there are two guards on this car, too. Zell and Selfie are up ahead, working on uncoupling our train from theirs. So you're on your own this time. Watch your right side. To do that, press R1. Let's get this over with. You know how to enter the codes, right? Yep. We'll have to enter five codes to disable the circuit from this connection. Jesus. Oh, bloody make it bloody easy, do you? You have two minutes. One, three, two, shoot. Oh, damn it, I screwed up. Probably have to do that again. What happened, Brett? Ah, oh, it's nothing. I failed. It's all over. Here's a tip on how to get up before they catch you. If the guards are coming, don't take your time to enter the right code. You can mess it up on purpose. Just get back up before they see you. It's a lot better than starting all over. Yeah. better to get back to the roof early. Yeah, I got it. It's my bad. Let's go. Let's go. Oh. Why have we got six minutes? Uh, two, three, two, one. wait for this guard to go back. I like that it's giving me more time. I can just screw up all I like. Uh, three, two, three. Oh, shit. Um, my bad. Excuse me. Excuse me. One, four, three, two. Come on, get up. Yes. Three, three, two, one, two. Excellent work. Here we go. It's your boy, the red god. to wait. Just 
screwed up. I was not paying attention to the code at all. It's fine though. <laughs> Ooh, shoot, how did I even do that? I'm upset with myself. I clicked two instead of one. That was like the easiest one ever. Okay. Um. Shoot. One more and we're good to go. Anytime you like. Two, two, three, one. Come on, come on. Right this way. Okie dokie. So now we have the president's car. We've kidnapped him from his own train. That's what's happening here, by the way. We're kidnapping the president while he's on a train. In the distance. Finally, we've waited so long for this encounter with Benza. Excellent, sir. Well done, sir. Super duper, sir. Well then. Leave the intelligence up to me, sir. I'm gonna stare at this wall. <laughs> Ouch. That's what happens when nerves get the best of you. You just get tummy dumb aches. You three, tell me when you're ready to go. As soon as you're ready, I'll begin serious negotiations with the president. Serious negotiations? Better make sure my GF's equipped. Yeah. <laughs> we're, we're fine. We're, we're fine. Just, just to make sure everybody's all good. Brett's got... Have you seriously... Damn straight you get the fire! He's like, they, they are fiddly as heck. I'm not gonna lie, they are fiddly as heck. Joe Mama, are we bringing you into the fight? I think not. Are you even here? Can we do that? Are you here? Sorry, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna keep my party as it is. I do not care. <laughs> Sure, have protect. You do you, babe. Sorry, I'm just so unreasonably upset that I have to do all this again. I don't care if the party's reset. Don't make me do this again. Okay, you're, you're probably fine. Yeah. Yeah. 
you're fine. Dude, oh my god. <laughs> sure really does this guy some favors. Okay, we should be fine. I just think that for the sake of argument, I don't want to be messing up my party right now. If we want your mama in the party, we can deal with it later. Okie dokie. President Delling, as long as you don't resist, you won't get hurt. And if I do resist, what will you do, young lady? <laughs> How dare you fight back? What's wrong? Ooh, too bad. I'm not the president. I'm what they call a body double. All these rumors about the many resistance groups in Timber. You pass along a little false information and they all fall for it. How pathetic. Seems like they, they're only amateurs around here. Um, amateurs? Ah, oh, my butt hurts from all this sitting, young lady. Oh. So what did you have in store for me if I had resisted? Why don't you tell me? God, it's like arguing on Facebook. Quite amusing, though, for being such amateurs. How dare you insult the president? I give you my phone number in case you text me the stream story. Well, that's... Uh, oh my gosh, I did forget to... Uh... <laughs> Yeah, if you if you if you want to PM me to it, PM me to it. If you want, if you really really want me to, I can do that for you. But you can uh, drop it in Discord uh, privately, of course. Um, but I I did forget to message on Discord. I apologize. I was late starting. Um, but essentially, you didn't miss much. We were just uncoupling the trains and kidnapping the president, who turned out not to be a president at all. He's a fake president. <laughs> what is this guy doing? He's having a seizure, is what he's doing. <laughs> he's a pretend president. Ooh, look that look on his face. You fell for it. Oh my god. He's eating Selfie's head. We'll get the ex-wife on you. See how that it goes. I really do need to fight that genie in a bottle. Silent voice. But she does cast silence on your enemies, so just in case you don't have that going for you, at least you've got the ex-wife. She'll bitch slap you into silence. Which is useful if you don't want your enemies doing magic. Just putting that one out there. Amusing. This is amusing. Is it? Because you're freaking me out, man. There he goes, having no spine. Which is a weird thing to say about Ifrit of all deities slash summonings. Oh. Ooh, that's not healthy. Oh. 
Oh, this is amazing. <laughs> Doesn't the remaster just sell it for you? <laughs> Although he does look like he's having a really bad day, to put it mildly. Oh, his organs are out and everything. That's not cool. What the? Are you okay? Silence missed? What? Oh my god, Zell's blind. Guerrero. We've got some stalking to do. Okay. That. Ooh, Berserk! Okay. What did he get? Oh, zombie. I'm not really sure what that does. How they get in each other's personal space. And myself, thank you. to wait for selfies done. <laughs> Blind too. Great. 
I'll be honest, this is the first battle in which I've really thought, huh, status effects are a thing. And I don't actually have that many items, I'm poor. So I should be a bit more careful. Yeah, the game might be a bit loud. I'll turn you down in a minute. Oh! Oh, he did. Okay, cool. Well done, whoever it was. <laughs> was it Mark? Volume's good, okay. Ooh, strength J. Okay. HP J. Okay, awesome. Cool, cool. Man, I can't believe the president was a fake. I can't believe we fell for it. Info, sir! New info! The president's fake! It's big news! We found out the real reason why the president's here, sir. Maybe you should spend some. Entirely possible. <laughs> the president's going to the TV station. Security's super tight, sir. The TV station? Why in Timber? They can broadcast just as easily from Galbadia. Do you think the Dalek communication tower has anything to do with this? What's that? Dalek has a communication tower that can transmit and receive radio waves. It had been abandoned for a long time, but the Galbadian army got it up and running yesterday. Oh, I get it. The only TV station that can handle broadcasts over the air is in Timber. Other stations use HD cable, which only supports online broadcasting. So what's that supposed to mean? They're planning on using radio waves. This way they can transmit images to regions without cable. I know that! What I want to know is, what is the present going to broadcast? Probably a global threat! Why use radio waves? There must be something they want to say to the whole world. What can it be? I effing hate you and I'm going to start a war with all of you. A war? Everybody, love and peace, or whatever it is she said. If I remember correctly, radio waves haven't been used in 17 years. It's been that long? Wouldn't it be wonderful if the first broadcast could be the Declaration of Timber's Independence? Hey, that might be possible. Let's come up with a plan, then. Can you guys give us a minute? home now. What about our contract? Shouldn't we check it, Brett? They call that a strategy meeting? Whisper, whisper, whisper. Whisper, whisper, whisper. Oh, good timing. We've come up with a plan. Before we get into that, can I see your contract with our garden? Oh, sure. Snatch. What's it say? Balam Garden, hereafter referred to as Party A, acknowledges the Forest Owls, hereafter referred to as Party B, as the hiring party. Seed, hereafter referred to as Party C, shall be dispatched upon signing of this contract. Party C shall operate under the supervision. The hell? I don't get it. Oh yeah, that one's pretty confusing. When I told him I didn't understand, he gave me a different one. Sid is such a nice man. 
What's it say this time? To the forest owls, this seed deployment contract will last until Timber achieves independence. Please make good use of each seed member. I wish you the best with your objective. Please understand that this contract is an exception, and no replacement for any seed members can be made. Balam Garden, Headmaster Sid Kramer. Until Timber's independence? That's so vague. Hey, you're paid professionals. Professionals? Professionals, no complaining. Okay, let's decide on the parties. Gathering information is my specialty, sir. Ouch, my stomach. So, of the four of us, the ones who will be heading to the TV station will be... Oh, I guess Joe Mom is coming. Um. Hmm. I like selfie. You don't seem to be an option. Um. Um. Right, well, you need to get up in some levels so you can come, Selfie. You need to level up just a teensy bit. Um. What do you, what do you... I think Joe Mama has, uh, Lisa now. Which means, uh, Selfie now has Mark. better for you, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, okay. I mean, she'll do thun she'll do she'll do thunder damage if she gets smacked I think or is that not allowed now because you should have okay I understand I'm not allowed to okay <laughs> maybe if they hit you they'll go asleep I <laughs>
you can have that, even though that makes literally no difference. GF draw an item and uh, selfie. You can have whatever's going on with you. Uh, GF magic control. That's good. That's good. You can. I'll allow it. Um, okay. Wait. I'm taking the grills. We had a whole discussion about Joe Mama the other the other stream. It's good to know that it's fresh in people's minds. <laughs> but uh yeah, I think we can I think if I recall correctly we can we can thank Chopper for that one. Um Oh so yeah. That's been a whole thing. The TV station, sir? It's quite close if you take the local train. But the local and transcontinental trains have stopped running, sir. Nothing to worry about, sir. There must be someone in town who knows. Are you ready, sir? Yeah. I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> Best of luck, sir. We'll keep... We'll be keeping watch here. A guy dressed as a cadet gathering information? He was asking about the president's stay. I found it strange that a cadet would keep asking about the president. He was very polite and kept addressing me as sir. I think I know who you're talking about. Oh my god, Watts. What are you doing? He was taking care of three suspicious-looking characters from Balan. I'll go question every teenager in the area. No, we can't just go up to everybody and... Ugh. These are citizens. We can't inflict any... How dare they try to kidnap the president! Not only is it disrespectful to the president, but also us Galbadian soldiers as well. I'll be sure to find them and throw their sad behinds in jail. Ahem. These are citizens. We, uh, that poor guy. Please hear me out to the very end. Hard done by guy. Yeah. Are we back where we started? Hey, I remember now, sir. I think the TV station is located behind a building called Kimber Maniacs. Please head to head in that direction, sir. I hope you find it. What? Come on, the Galbadian soldiers are coming. Lots of guards can control the city now. Please be careful, sir. Seems like the hotel's not available either. Should you need to recover, use the alt tier, sir. Heard it works wonders. I believe you can find it at the old man's house. I guess you won't be needing it anyway. You're all seeds. You'll be fine, right, sirs? Hey! Don't leave me, sir! He's, he's got a lisp now because I can't talk. Ooh, the pet shop's open. Oh, wow. <laughs> Guardian forces are considered pet. Pet house? Wow. Nice.
how dare they? Oh, I see you're having trouble, uh, seeing. Selfie's just posing. Your mom is just like, yay! Oh, jeez. Ooh, it's leveled up. Okay. Um. If you'll excuse me. Make sure you're not blind as hell. Tried to dissuade her, but no. <laughs> Looks like the trains have stopped running. Usually, the local trains would be running here. A lot of hustle and bustle. I thought we established the train stopped running. Are you okay? Ah, 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 June! I'm allergic to cats. My daughter loves them. What am I to do? It's so cute. Meow. I wonder if there's a safe one in the hotel, though. Oh, good, there is. Excellent work. Just any sign of a cat, and I'm like, that's so freaking adorable. Oh, I'm sorry, you can't stay here tonight. Can't say this out loud, but there's a bunch of roughnecks from Galbadia staying here right now. I understand. Thanks, Miss DeMarco. Oh, Joe Mama. How long have we known each other? Call me Francesca. I'm behind you all the way. Good luck. Oh my god, where's the exit? There we go. We're fine. Meow. Better keep your eyes peeled. If you let one resistance member in here, your dear kids are, well, dead meat. <laughs> Security guard does not give a fuck about his kids. We have to get to the TV station fast. I can't bear to watch them suffer like this. Excuse me. So I heard everyone here supports the resistance. You guys are such fools. Just imagine how much this place would thrive if you were loyal to us. This place is going to be stuck in, a, in the backwoods forever. And you? Are you happy with your life? Blindly following orders every day? Doing things you probably don't believe in? So what if we're underdeveloped? We're not looking to thrive. All we want to be able to do is stand on our own feet. To be independent and live according to what we believe. Oh, oh my god. Oh, this, this talk of this talk of political independence is exhausting. 
You guys will probably never understand, having thrown away your pride and dignity. We're not the fools. You are. You're both dead. No. Oh my god. Oh, okay. Here we go. Just smack them both with Lisa. No big deal. What we call overkill. Yep, there we go. All sorted. Like, if you don't really want to fight, but you've got to settle a conflict real quick, just throw a GF at him because obviously it's something that everyone has access to. Thank you for your help. I got a little carried away. We appreciate your help, but we can't let you through here. I'm sorry. Well, don't make me fight you too, because I will. Um, what was I doing? I just had a thought. I can't for the life of me remember what it was. Oh yeah, that's right. Um, I was going... Elemental defense, you you got that going for you. Fine. Um, yeah, you're almost done with that. Also fine. Why are you so determined? You, you just, uh... Use the mad rush command. I don't know what that is! Here, have that. Um... There you go. Have that too. Doom. Right, I'm just wondering if there's like a command that... Okay, we'll, we'll figure this one out. Please, we can't let you pass. And where am I supposed to go? Hmm? Woman? Do you have anything useful to say? It's so cute. Ooh, a weapon shop. I can't buy anything because reasons. I have it already. I don't have an- ah. Do you think if I wait around long enough I'll get paid? You guys are super threatening. Wow. Okay, fire does literally nothing. Okay, they're not so fond of lightning. That's good to know. Thunder. Bow, bow. 
suppose we could go somewhere else and sell a few things and come back again and be like, hey, by the way. Oh, jeez. Come back here. Oh, come on, I was in the shop doorway. That's not fair. Okay, they're really not fun with light. Thunder it all. I'm gonna keep saying lightning. Just because. Just sell a couple of those. Be on our way. See what happens. Oh, hello. D uh, hi, Mama. The, the weather sure is ni nice today. Beautiful day, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Can I say anything interesting? I'm such a loser. Uh, okay. <sighs> This is what happens. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I thought it said I didn't have enough money, but I could get it. That's annoying. Dare I not have a dragon's fin? What am I even supposed to do with that? Well, the good news is I've got money now, I guess. I'll go talk to the people in the hotel again, or maybe I'll have to go down to the train track, see what happens. <laughs> Sorry, I'm doing the overkill thing again. I have one. Um, it's okay. We're just gonna let Pantacuno stretch his little wings. Or massive wings. Okie dokie. The lack of expression on her face. <laughs> Ooh, level 12 at last, are we, Stealthy? Excuse me. What? Welcome. Reservations are taken at the counter. Katie gets mad if you go in without paying. Sorry, you can't stay here tonight. Ex blah, 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 blah. 
How long have we known each other? Not long enough, apparently. Huh? I'm sorry, Gady. I just, I just, I just want to use your save point. Because we had that battle and that interaction and we really, we really just don't want to lose that. Um, anyway, we shall see what other ways there may or may not be around our particular issue. been treating you. What's that noise? Just gonna go, hi. Hi, Dan. How you been? Trains bound for Balam are not running at this time. Hi, Dan. How you been? You turned 28 today! Oh my god. <laughs> I don't know what that voice was, but, uh, you know, happy birthday, man. How you been? How was, how was your day? Did you do anything, like, you know, fun and interesting? Did you get any cool presents? Happy birthday! See, this is this is the part where I need to find like a voice, uh, a sound alert that's like "Happy Birthday" in the most objective way, uh, objective, the most irritating way possible. Trainbound for Delling City is currently out of service. Yeah, but can we just run along the tracks? How about that? It's been good. You've just been lazy to get a very fluffy comfort. Oh, that sounds nice. Sounds nice. You're just making me jelly now. All I want is <laughs> just want my dressing gown. <laughs> oh boy. Excuse us. We 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 apologize. You you continue to do what you do. I'll just be here. Just see how many people we can kill before Mark gets his game on. <laughs> it looks like Mark's gonna beat us. Ooh, or is he? Oh, oh no, Mark's doing it. I don't know if you've been here for it, but there there have been some instances in which we've been allowed to rename characters, and some in which we have not. <laughs> so at the moment, there's we've we've managed to name all but three of the characters that have come into our possession. Um, Selfie is the only one that we didn't name in the party just now, but we've renamed all of our summonings. Um, but everyone else has names such as Brett and Joe Mama and Mark and Lisa and Articuno and the ex-wife. Woohoo! Normal ammo. What am I supposed to do with normal ammo? Booze. Oh, look. There she is. There she's going. Learning away. The things you just learn. Raises magic damage by 40%. Refine tools from an item. Sure, do that. I don't know what that is, but we'll do that. At least she's learning. <laughs> 
<laughs> the ex-wife is pretty great. She will shock you into silence if you give her half the chance. We can go this way. Maniacs! There's a lot of old magazines. Hey, these are the battle series. I've read a lot of them. Hello, what can I do you for, honey? We want to take a look around. We just want to look around. Okay, go right ahead. Okay, Janet, thanks. I don't know if her name is actually Janet or not. Ooh. Ooh. Go on, Brett. You have it. Hidden. Right in there. What? Did you say I look like an artist? As a matter of fact, I am. I didn't say anything. What are you doing? Alright, looking at my cat. Ooh, there's a single magazine on the ground, which I should probably read. Found an old issue of Timber Maniacs. You finished reading it. Did I achieve anything? Oh god. No, come back. Oh man, why did the Battle Series books sell so well? We're sure living in a terrible age. Oh, you're looking around. Is there anything you want to know about Timber Maniacs? Okay, well, as you know, the name of the company is Timber Maniacs. We're a publisher that was established 20 years ago. We used to publish a magazine called Tim Mi Tim Mani. Short for Timber Maniacs. It was a compilation of freelance writing, letters, reports, etc. The majority of the fans wanted to become journalists. I joined the company because I wanted to become an editor for Tim Maney. But times have changed. Now the only thing that sells are the books like the Battle Series. It's so sad. I've lost my will to work here. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just looking at your mama. Crouched in the corner, bored out of her mind. It's gonna go on forever. This is so typical. Adults reminiscing and talking on and on about the things that... Things they couldn't or didn't do. <laughs> I hate it. God, these guys... A word of advice, you're still young, don't let your life pass you by! Holy shit. I want to see if we got anything at all to say that is good. Um, talk about the dream with Laguna. About Timber situation. Okay, let's see if we can get anything about the stream. Recently, I had a strange dream that I became a Galbadian soldier named Laguna. Actually, it was too realistic to be just a dream. My friends had a similar experience, too. Yeah, dreams are really strange. This morning, I dreamt that... Why did I bring this up? <laughs> and we won't shut up about his dreams. This morning's dream, yesterday's dream, childhood dreams. <laughs> you are not old. And I'll have you know I'm a year older than you. You know this. <laughs> Big mistake. Hey, guys. Come again, tee hee hee. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> that feeling where you just get randomly assaulted in the street. 
by professional soldiers. really hurt for some reason. <laughs> right in the bud real quick. I said real quick. <laughs> Thank you. Wait to get smacked in the face by a princess. <sighs> We've got two potions. Lisa, Mark, the XY. Looking for Timber Maniacs? It's right here! Where's the TV station? Yeah, that's in this town. You want to know more about it? No! Just direct me! Right there! Right now! Maybe the lady next door would know. Is this the, the woman that we just borrow the bed? What? You're walking to the TV station? We have no choice. The trains aren't running. Let's see. There used to be a way through the back alley of this house. The pub was built around the time they stopped broadcasting. We haven't used the back alley too much since then. Why don't you look through the second floor window? You should be able to see the back alley. Oh, I have to. I have to do my reading voice, so I. They, I emphasize the the locations and things. It's not even our kitty. But it's always sleeping in our bed. Can you believe him? He eats up a lot of our food, too. That's why we're charging a look-see fee. We can't help it. It's the kitty's fault. Of course it is, you tiny... Entrepreneur. <laughs> Want to take a look, see? Go to that uh, window there. This window right here? Forget it. I'm just going to aggressively ignore the advice. There's so many cats here. I love it. You see, he's just doing handstands. That's all he's doing. That's ten gil, please. Hey, you at it again? How many times have I told you not to take money from people? <laughs> oh boy, <laughs> that uh, that is spanking. <laughs> I reduced the price from one thousand gil, though. <laughs> it's not about the money. I didn't raise you this way. gonna do it again can we just can we just go out the window okay there's a whole lot of not a lot going on they find love but my parents totally get along I can't wait to meet a great guy I can scream at and exchange blows with okay have you met Zell? Maybe she likes screaming and punching. <laughs> you guys watch yourselves. Some seedy looking guys were heading toward the pub. 
The pub is downstairs. I think I smell blood. I hope it's just my imagination. Are we on a date, you ask? Does it look like we are? We're on patrol to keep peace in town. Just, oh. <laughs> Okay. Katsukuno is probably, I think, one of the fastest GFs to, to cast, I think. Oh, of course, we have to wait for everyone else to get their nonsense together. just killed 100 things, by the way. I'm shocked it's not more, but I guess that counts. Mountain? River? Sky? Forest? Secret info number three. Timber was named for its rich vegetation. Used to be that we were surrounded by a beautiful forest. Guy? Secret info number two. Laser beams are everywhere outside the TV station. I lose sleep when I think about what those beams could do to me. Wow. Secret info number one. You should go to the Aurora pub for a drink. I guess Aurora means Aurora. Drink until you see an Aurora. Sounds like a new... Oh my god, I'm stuck. Thank you. I'm just gonna go down here. That was too easy, man. <laughs> For a country bunk, and he sure had some good stuff. You know, better ease off a little. These timber hicks hate us enough as it is. <gasps> I gasp. Let's get them. That poor thing. They clearly mug someone in front of a shop owner and a pub. They're just outraged that they've been spotted by randos. I'm bloody believable. that because oh you don't have that who does have that it's not you is it I don't know where we got that card from but maybe it's something that the, the GS did I don't know Lady? Oh, there we are. Fuck, looks so cool. <laughs> he is pretty cool. Ooh. Fuel? For the rent car. Oh my god, that's so expensive. 
ammo that attacks all opponents. Oh. I don't know what that does, but uh, oh, we've got five tents already. Should be fine. Should be fine. I'm so irresponsible with my spending. Sorry, wait, what was what was what was that? Cure, okay. Um yeah, okay. Selfie can have it. She can just she can just have it. I don't think she Yeah. Yeah. I don't think she she has it, but uh, she she sure does. Drifter, I've had enough of this city. I came here from Dollar to have a good time, and now trains are no longer running. Can't even stay in a hotel because of some stupid official harassed by Galvanian soldiers. Had my precious card stolen. This hasn't been my day. Those jerks. They think they can use brute force to get anything they want. Hell, this town's a good example. Yeah. Everything's jacked up because the resistance tried to kidnap the president. Thanks to them, the trains have stopped. There's Galfadian soldiers all over the place. All because of them. Don't they understand I'm the one suffering from their reckless actions? Stupid, boneheaded, good-for-nothing resistance. You can just kiss my... Hey! You don't understand anything. The Resistance is fighting for Timber's future. They're all doing their, the best they can. It's the Galbadian soldiers and their leader who are at fault. Shh. Uh, do you, do you want your card back? Because I feel like I, uh... We need to get through. Jeez, and now I'm getting dissed by some punk owner. Give me another drink. Tell him about the card. Is this your card? Huh? It is. Why do you have it? Found it outside. Are you serious? Okay. Thanks. You know what? I'm feeling generous, so you can keep that card. And also, this one. I'll move out of the way now. Tongberry card! Stupid resistance! How dare they! Hey, owner, I can't stand up. Can you help me? <laughs> it was a smooth slide on over. I'm proud of you. What a nice guy! Ditto! Drunk man! Uh, uh, I feel sick. I, I drank too much. Not my shoes. Anything but my shoes. We're here now. Just drags him real good out the way. We, the, we, but the president will be dead meat next time. Do you really think that the kidnapping is just playing tag? Mommy said you blah 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 blah. I can't read what these kids are saying. Cookies are ready said mother. Coming! Alright, well, good to know. Good to know that entire conversation went through over everybody's head. Said something about the resistance. These kids are getting political. Really early in life, which may or may not be a good thing. <laughs> hey, an outdoor TV! This is creepy. What is it? Well, that's, that's the alphabet. This noise is broadcast over most of the frequencies. Something has to be done about this before they can broadcast it over the air. Right on! The president's in the studio now, sir. Too many guards now, so we won't be able to storm the place, sir. Well... You're really obvious in your information gathering, so... So we can't just rush in. We've got to come up with a new plan now. 
If the president leaves, maybe the gods will be gone too. That's when we do our broadcast. It might not be as influential, but it's better than nothing, right? We don't stand a chance if we take him head on, right? Don't worry about us. We'll fight your enemies based on your decision. That's our duty. Hey, I'm a seed too. Just want you to know, I'm ready for anything. How sad. Act on my decision? That's your duty? Yes, it's literally in the contract. Why are you surprised? We don't want to be here. We got done when the fake president died. What an easy life it must be. To just follow orders. Call it what you want. All we want is for you to achieve your goal using our help, so we can go home and get paid for doing nothing! I find it hard to believe that you can do it, though. But what did you say? If you have something to say, just say it. Yeah, I'll tell you. How serious are you? Really? The three of you plop down on the floor to discuss strategy? On top of that, you can't make a decision without our input, right? How do you think we feel working for such an organization? You're being a little too hard. Guess I'll follow up. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Sorry, I guess I got a little carried away. Bye! You know... Maybe this is this was all a big mistake. I thought ah oh, damn it. But I guess it's not that easy. You were all hired. It's not like you're one of us. Um, let's see. We'll cancel the plan and we'll disperse for now. We don't stand a chance if we take him head on, right? So maybe you guys probably think this is all a game to us. Well, it's not. We're serious. So serious, it hurts. Huh? They starting? Ooh, what's this? Testing. One, two, testing, testing. Ooh. People of the world, can you see me? Can you hear me? Oh, this is incredible, ladies and gentlemen. This is not a recording. This is an actual broadcast over the air. Yes, it's been 17 years since a live broadcast has been possible. Oh, please excuse me. I have... I seem to have lost my composure. We would like to present to you today a message from the lifelong president of Galbadia, Vinza Delling. Ladies and gentlemen, President Delling! Where are you at? <laughs> We bought you on a twain. Well, not the real you. Greetings! I am Vinza Delling, lifelong president of Galbadia. Today, I stand before you to make the following proposition. We, the people of this world, have the power to end all wars. See? See? It's a peace proposal to the world! I knew it! Unfortunately, there are some trifling problems standing between Galbadia and other nations, and they must be resolved. It's the gardens. I hate them. I plan to convene with other nations' leaders immediately to resolve these problems. At this time, allow me to introduce the ambassador who will be my representative for the conference. Man, all this just to introduce an ambassador... The ambassador is the sorceress. Sorceress. Hey, Sephir! 
dude. What? What's he doing? Instructed Trip? Stay back. Brent, what are we gonna do? For the last time, stay back. You're only going to provoke him. Nothing. Our job is to assist the owls. It's none of our business. Timber Team, are you watching? Get over here right now. You have permission. I need your help. Zephyr's gone mad. Brett, squad leader. Oh, dang. Come along. Hold on. Del. Del. How's, uh... How's, uh... Can you, can you, can you, like... Where the fuck did... Brett. You don't... Fucking what's her face wandered off with Lisa. I don't care what her name is, she can't. This is the. Okay. I guess Zell can have the ex wife for now. Can't have him wandering around doing nothing. on this list and I thought she would be. Bloody believe oh there she is. Okay, you don't need the ex-wife. You can have Lisa though, that's fine. Where's all your magic gone though? My guy. Why can you do it? But nobody else can. Stressing me out. Okay. Chrissy, where is this magic gone? I'm so mad. I'll tell you what, who has it? I'll tell you who has it. Never mind, it doesn't matter. We'll just deal with it. Um, selfie. Thank you. Okay. 
Oh, no. Uh, GF. Draw. Bam. Easy. Okay, cool. Sorted. Let's go. Wow. We need to restrain him. What do you think you're doing? It's obvious, ain't it? What are you planning to do with this guy? Planning to do? That's right. He knows your mama is why he's here. Is that why he's here? I get it. You're your mama's... Shut your damn mouth, chicken wuss. He broke out of the disciplinary room, injuring many in the process. You stupid idiot! Cell, please. Be quiet. Instructor, I know. You're gonna take this stupid idiot back to garden, right? Shut up! No! I see. So you're all from garden. President Delling. They sound like they're on the cusp of a terrible joke every time with your mama. Exactly. Should anything happen to me, the entire Galbadian military will undoubtedly crush Garden. You can let go of me now. Nice going, chicken voice. You and your stupid big mouth. Take care of this mess, Instructor, and Mr. Leader. Ah, uh, Sorry. <gasps> oh, I think I missed a thing. Poor, poor boy. Stay away from me! Such a confused little boy. Are you going to step forward? Retreat? You have to decide. Stay back! The boy in you is telling you to come. The adult in you is telling you to back off. You can't make up your mind. You don't know the right answer. You want to help, don't you? You want to be saved from this predicament. Shut up! Don't be ashamed to ask for help. Besides, you're only a little boy. I'm not! Stop calling me a boy! You don't want to be a boy anymore? I am not a boy! Come with me to a place of no return. Bid farewell to your childhood. <laughs> He's like, bye! Ooh. Excuse me while I kidnap this, this, this teenager. Hey guys! Where's Sephar? We don't know. He'll be okay, right? Why do you care? They found our base. It's completely destroyed. And everyone else? They're fine. They're good at escaping. Good. 
As long as she's not unreasonably worried. We have to stay away from Timber for a while. Is there a safe place you can take me? I guess we'll just have to take you back to Garden. This is an order. An order from your client, remember? Alright. <laughs> She's too joyful about this. Scan. Found. Uh, go ahead, Zell. I don't think he has any anymore. So... That was fun and interesting. So we started the, the, the session and there were trains and we kidnapped a president, but it wasn't a president. Then we got here and they were like, hey, the president's actually here though. And uh, then that happened. And it took some time. Um, but I think today we are gonna call it quits for the evening. Please leave. Get up. Get, get, get you. Um, get you good. And we're going to leave it there. Thank you so much for joining. I appreciate you being here and hanging around and everything. Um, I will be back tomorrow with, um, what's it called? Subnautica Below Zero. And we're starting a new game on Wednesday, which is Amnesia Rebirth. So if you want a bit of a spooky time, join us on Wednesday about the same time as usual. Um, I will not be streaming on Thursday, but we'll be back on Friday with Ori in the Blind Forest, assuming nothing terrible happens. And on Saturday, it is going to be another story time stream. So uh, we've got that to look forward to. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm hyped for tomorrow because hopefully we'll be able we'll be able to find gold, which is a struggle because I was looking for it in supposedly the right place according to Subnautica Wiki. I was in the right place, but I couldn't find any, which is weird to me. Um, so we'll have another look and then we'll start looking elsewhere because I'm just confused. Um, just by not having, no, I just need the gold. I need the gold in my life. I need all of the gold. You don't understand how badly I need that gold. Um, but yeah, so we've got that going for us. Um, I will, um, I'm excited. I'm excited for Amnesia Rebirth. I'll see you guys then. And I will, um, Ori in the Blind Forest, what I was doing last last time we played was correct. I was just doing it wrong somehow. It just was not working for me. So hopefully it will work next time. Um, anyway, um, I will leave you here. Thank you so much for popping by. Sleep well when you go. If it is not your bedtime, have a great time zone. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.